Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Fates Collide Pokemon Booster Box. And this Booster Box opening is the first video that I'm doing in my 18 Pokemon Booster Box opening series for the summer of 2016. You'll find a link to the playlist I've created for this opening series in the description of this video. And the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to be opening newest and then oldest, newest, oldest for the next 17 weeks after this booster box is posted to YouTube. So one booster box a week for 18 straight weeks in the summer here. Every Sunday, I'll be posting a booster box opening. So this week will be Fates Clyde, and then next week I'll start with the oldest box in this series, which will be Mysterious Treasures. So this Fates Clyde box I bought from Poke Order for $89.89, and right now it is the newest set in the English TCG. So I'll take the plastic wrap off here and then give you a better view of the booster box. I'm very excited to open all these booster boxes this summer. And if you watch the preview video for this series, including all the booster boxes that I'll be opening up this series, I've opened up 4,258 total packs just in my huge opening series on YouTube. So there's the front, the side, the back, and another side. And then the top, of course, has Zygarde. And then the bottom is like so. So, as always with booster boxes, I'll do part one and part two. So 36 packs in one booster box, and I split them up, so I will just take the right stack of packs first and start with those, and then part two, which I'll be uploading right after I upload this video to YouTube, I'll open up the second 18 packs. Okay, so first pack, and I will give away some of the code cards here. Okay, first pack in the first box of my 18 booster box opening series starts off with a Solosis, there's a Riolu, Spoink, Diglett, there's a Larvitar, Halucha, Weezing, Last is Special, Reverse Solo of, there we go, excellent start to this opening with a Lugia break, and I believe these are about 1 in 12 packs, 5 different break cards in the Fates Clyde set, and then the final card is a Lugia non holo so a pretty good pack to start, and I will summarize all of my good pulls at the end of this opening. If you're short on time, you can always just skip right to the end of this video. Of course, it's more fun watching me open the packs one at a time. So second pack here, Lugia break on the cover artwork. Okay. Pack here starts off with a Vullaby. Next up, Riolu. There is a Cottony. Seal. Wismer. Brazen. There's a Fairy Garden Stadium card. Team Rocket's Handiwork, also available in a full art form. There's Chaos Tower, a reverse solo. It can be switched up and down. So it's really, you can play it this way or this way. And then the Rare in the Pack. A Mega Autono EX. So I cannot beat the start to this box. Two Ultra Rares right away. And I will be opening up two Fates Clyde booster boxes this summer. Like I said, I'm going newest, oldest. Rotating back and forth. So I'm going to go Fates Clyde. And then two weeks from now, I'll be opening up a Breakpoint box. And then going that way, once through, opening one of each newest set. And then I'll be going back through those later in the summer. Okay, third pack here starts off with a Bronzor. There's Mincino, Deerling, Carbink, Fennekin, Team Rocket's Handiwork, Altaria Spirit Link, Chaos Tower, Reverse Holo of a Snorlax. And that's a rare Reverse Holo, very nice. And the final card in the pack, a Rayoniclus Non Holo. Okay. On to the next pack here, and I have completed the Fates Collide set, but what my goal with any set is, is to complete the Ultra Rare and Secret Rare portion of the set as soon as possible, and then go ahead and try and pull all of the cards I had to buy initially 
from packs when I open up booster boxes like these. So here we go with a Carbink, there's a Larvitar, Diglett, Spoink, Coughing, Wormadom, Old Amber Aerodactyl, there's a Scorched Earth, Reverse Hollow of a Jigglypuff, just a common, and the rare in the pack, a Rotom non hollow Okay, on to the next pack here. Like I said, very excited to open up the remaining 18, actually 17 booster boxes in this series, 18 total. And that's what I've been doing for the past probably five or six summers is adding one more booster box to open up each summer. Okay, so this pack starts off with a Gothita. There's a Riolu, Cottony, Burmy, Snubble, Scorched Earth, followed by a Brazen, Fairy Garden, Reverse Solo of, Wormadom, that is an uncommon, and the rare here, a Grumpig non hollow Okay, next pack, Lugia Break here. Now if you're wondering what my favorite cards are in this set, down the top 10 Fates Collide Pokemon card video before. That's what I do with all of the newest sets that are out. I really enjoy doing that top 10 list. Okay, this pack starts off with a Mincino, followed by Snubble. There's a Deerling, Riolu, Jigglypuff, Kabuto, Kangaskhan, Random Receiver, Reverse Solo of, Omanyte, which is an uncommon, and the final card in the pack. Oh, there we go right there. A Team Rockets Handiwork Full Art Trainer. The only Full Art Trainer in this set. A nice pull right there. And I'm really doing good with this box so far. Okay, next up here. A pack that has Zygarde on it. And it seems like with these Fates Collide boxes, some boxes have a very good run of ultra rares in them. Most boxes are average, but some boxes are, are above average. Okay, so this pack has a coughing to start. There's a Larvitar, Volby, Mincino, Wismer, Random Receiver, Wormadom. There's an Old Amber Aerodactyl. Reverse Hollow of, oh, there's a nice card. Rare Reverse Hollow of Moltres. And then the actual rare in the pack, a Mew Hollow. There's only five Hollow cards in this set, so it's pretty easy to get all of the Hollow cards just in one booster box. So I will set that aside as well. Okay, next pack here. That's the card I need to pull two out of this box. It would be Mega Alakazam EX Full Art. And it'll be interesting once the summer's over to see what my pull rates were out of both of these boxes compared to the first Fates Clyde box that I opened up when the set was first released. Okay, so this pack starts off with Fennekin. There's a Seal. Burmy. Larvitar. There's a Bronzor. Servine, followed by here is Shauna. There's an Ultra Ball, Reverse Hollow of Bronzor, which is just a common, and the rare here, oh, is a Genesect EX. So continuing my great pulls here with another Ultra Rare. Very happy here. Okay, next pack here, Delphox Break Pack. There's the code card. Okay, this pack has Carbink on the front, followed by Fennekin. There's a Seal, Diglett, Snivy, followed by an Ultra Ball, Kabuto, Reverse Hollow after this Kangaskhan, is an Alakazam Spirit Link, Uncommon Trainer, and the final card in the pack. A Moltres non holo the one I just pulled in rare, rare reverse holo form just a pack or two ago. Okay, about halfway through part one here. 
And of course, mysterious treasures they'll be opening up next week. And in there you have level X cards, no EX cards in the Diamond and Pearl series sets. Okay, so this pack here starts with Minchino. There's a Wismer, Meowth, Binacle, there's a Gothita, Warmadom, Pupitar, Energy Reset, Reverse Hollow of a Minchino, just a common, and the rare here, a Lucario Hollow. Now there are two Lucario cards in this set, one Hollow, one rare non-hollow, so second hollow pull of this half of the box. Okay, next pack here, Zygarde on it. Code card. Okay, pack starts off with Meowth. Then there's a Jigglypuff. Riolu. Bronzor. There's a Deerling, followed by Energy Reset, Servine, Shauna, Reverse Solo of a Dome Fossil Kabuto, that is an, an uncommon, and the rare here is a Superior non hollow So there are seven packs left here, so we are more than halfway through part one. See Minchino right on the top there code card. And if you are one of the first ones to watch this video, try not to take all of the code cards. Save some for others. Okay, so like I said, Minchino to start. There's a Coughing, Vullaby, Solosis, Cottony, Dugong, Bent Spoon, there is a Loudred, Reverse Hollow of Spoink, and the final card in the pack is a Zygarde non-holo. So three different Zygarde cards in this set. There's the rare non-holo, I believe there's an uncommon, and then there's an EX. And that Spoink Reverse Holo was a common. Okay, code card here. It's been a while since we pulled a break card out. Okay, so pack here starts off with Gothita. There's Solosis. Snivy, Snubble, Binacle, Loudred, Wormadom, there's a Pupitar, Reverse Hollow of Vullaby, another common, and the rare in the pack, a Marowak non hollow If you're interested in Japanese cards at all, I, I have always opened the newer, whenever a new set comes out in English, there's always a Japanese equivalent to it, so I've opened up that, starting with, I think, Furious Fist. I started opening up the Japanese equivalent before the English set was released. Okay, this pack starts off with a Snivy. Next up, Deerling, couple of grass type in a row. Carving, common card there. Riolu, there's a Diglett, followed by Sinchino. Strong Energy, Energy Pouch, Reverse Hollow of, oh, there's a nice card, Rare Reverse Hollow of a Lugia, and then the final card in the pack, oh, there it is right there, that's the card I was hoping for most, is Umbreon EX Full Art, beautiful looking card, my favorite card from the set, very happy with my pull so far, wow, just in part one, two, we have... Still another half of the box to go after this opening here. Okay, code card. This pack starts with a Larvitar. There's the Vullaby. Fennekin. Wismer. Minchino. There's an Energy Pouch. Dugong. Bent Spoon. Reverse Hollow of. A Cottony, and that is just a common. And then the rare here is a Snorlax non hollow. I believe I pulled that one in reverse hollow form earlier in this opening. Third to last pack here in part one. Let's see, bronze are right on the top there. Code card. Okay, so pack starts with a bronze ore. 
There's a seal, snobble, fennekin, jigglypuff, Audino spirit link, wigglytuff, helix fossil ammonite, wigglytuff, same one that was just two cards ago, uncommon reverse hollow, and then the rare in this pack, a mothim non hollow. Okay, like I said, getting down there on packs. Only one more to go after this one. And it looks like I have pulled out six combined hollows and ultra rares, plus the one break card, so we'll see what happens. Should be about all. I may pull another break card or something like that before this ends. Okay, so second to last pack starts off with Diglett. There's a Mincino, Spoink. Coughing, Cottony, Helix Fossil Ammonite, Cinchino, there is a Strong Energy, Reverse Hollow of, there we go right there, Bronzong Break, just like I was mentioning, could have another Break card in this half of the box, Bronzong Break, second Break card, first one was Lugia, and then the final card here is a Lucario, and that is the Rare non hollow version. Okay, so final pack here in part one of the first booster box opening in my 18 booster box opening series for summer of 2016. Okay, so there is the code card. Last pack starts off with a Fennekin. Then there is a Meowth, Larvitar, Burmy, Cottony. Fairy Drop, Wheezing, Power Memory, Reverse Hollow of, a Seal, just a common, and then the final rare in part one here is a Bronzong non hollow. But very happy with my polls in part one. First 18 packs already opened. I can summarize my polls now. I set aside the rare Reverse Hollows, pulled three out. I pulled out a Lugia. Moltres, and then Snorlax. I really can't beat those who are rare reverse hollows. Some of my favorite Pokemon right there. So three rare reverse hollows, two hollow cards in Lucario, and like I said, only five total hollow cards in this set, and then Mew. So two hollows, two, two break cards in Bronzong break and Lugia break. There's Bronzong, and there's Lugia. And then for Ultra Rares, I did very good. Pulled four total in this half of the box. Pulled out an EX, an EX Full Art, a Mega EX, and a Full Art Trainer. So here we go. Here is the regular EX in Genesect. And then pulled Mega Autono EX. A Team Rocket's Handiwork Full Art Trainer. And then an Umbreon EX Full Art. So there you have it. In total, this half the box pulled... Six combined Ultra Rares and Hollows, three Rare Reverse Hollows, and two Break Cards. So thanks everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages, as well as a link to Part 2 of this Fates Collide Booster Box opening and a link to my 18 Pokemon Booster Box opening playlist. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.